Let's keep the energy flowing upward. Uh, we are going to uh, experience a spoken word performance from an incredible artist who is a poet, a dancer, a playwright, and a teacher, not to mention the vice president and artistic director of social impact at the Kennedy Center. Uh, this man does it all. Please, please, please give some love to Mark B. Joseph. Peace, how you doing? Uh, the B is for Bamuti. It means of the tree. Just, you know. Uh, welcome to my spot. Really happy that y'all are here. Uh, if your dream is only about you, it's too small. Ava DuVernay. Uh, my fellow healers, I speak to you standing just a few miles from historic dreaming. I speak to you from the day after, from a dreamscape of clashing visions, accelerating time and diminishing returns, from a post-dream mind state, a lush post-dream haze, fertile and cellular and strangely at odds with a landscape of scorched earth. My fellow healers, I speak to you in the shadow of a king on the day after freedom ring, the day after free at last. I ask you to consider the work it takes to live the dream at scale. Think of the dream as a kind of cultural currency, and to that extent, the consequences of not doing the work are too big to fail. Healers, let's talk about equity. Not equity like we all out here in the house, equity like what you've invested in your house, invested in your children. What do we wish to reap from cultural equity? And how do we keep that stock high? We all dream of the beautiful democracy and truth is racial equity is the price. Truth is you might could buy more with a lie. Truth is, if now ain't a good time for the truth, I don't see when we'll get to it. And so the dreamers wake and get to it. It is incumbent on all human beings to oppose injustice in every form. And that is the truth. The public is an idea. And that idea is in need of representation, symbols of our aspiration, avatars of our moral commitment to be better, avatars like kings, symbols like dreams, and brass tacks like labor and shared risk. The drawing of maps and then walking the path from truth to racial healing to transformation to move our community forward, to break bread in affinity, to know you're not preaching to the choir, you're galvanizing the committed. The work of rebuilding the village, healing ourselves, seeing ourselves. Justice is not a surprise waiting for you behind curtain number two on The Price is Right. Justice itself comes at the steep price of committed energy and time and self-sacrifice to help assure somebody else's rights. Now, don't that sound like the echo of a dream? A waking memory on the morning after? A vision of the situationship between broken relationships and broken economies? a circle of unbroken trust. Is that not what we mean by cultural equity? We all different, but we're all us. Healers on the day after the words hung in the maw of the Capitol like August heat, there remained still a moral infrastructure to rebuild, a moral compass to hold steady. Following the transformative vision came the transformative action, healing through art, social design, cultural leadership, authentic vulnerability, course correction. King's talk was intellectual capital that bought the transformative path he walked, cultural equity. 
Keyless, next time somebody uses that word at work, consider it as king implies he did. Equity measured against an index of self-love. A self-love that doesn't involve the hatred of anyone else. A love of self based on what one can make, how one feels under the light of the sun. A self-love that doesn't involve the fear of not a single solitary anyone. A self-love where everybody's safe. Freedom is not fate. History leaves scars. Healing is not preordained. The king lit up the DC sky, then came back to earth, and on the day after went back to doing the dream work. Truth, racial healing, transformation, the capital gains of community catharsis, the moral economy fueled by cultural equity, shared risk, shared company. On the day after the dream comes the dream work. Truth, racial healing, transformation, the mountaintop view of dreaming together in public. Thank you so much for your time.